And you know what that means? We have a special zip trip edition of 7 News. We're headed to Simpsonville this morning. We'll head back out to Malachi Rogers with more on the schools in the area this morning. Good morning, Malachi. Hey, good morning to you, Olivia, and a very good Friday morning, everyone. Yes, we're in Simpsonville enjoying a fantastic morning here. But, of course, you can't come to Simpsonville or talk about Simpsonville without knowing or mentioning Hillcrest High School. And we are lucky enough this morning to have the principal of Hillcrest High School, Dr. Patrick Jarrett. Would you come in, please? And, and tell us a little bit. Thanks so much for being here. Tell us yeah. a little bit about how the school year is going so far, first weekend. Yeah, for, first week's in the books. It's been great. Uh, you know, we are focusing this year on really on trying to make uh, partnerships with our families, with our community. We know it's a team effort, and so, so far, so good. And again, Simpsonville is such a, a great area to be in. So many families, so many people here. What are you guys, what are some of the new things you guys have going on this year? What can kids and parents look forward to this year? One of the things we're most excited about this year is that we have quadrupled our dual credit opportunities we provide kids in our building. Wow. And so we had our first student graduate last year with an associate's of science degree while oh, getting wow. a diploma. And we're trying to make that a more of a normal thing and not an exceptional thing. So without having to even leave our building, students be able to get an AA or an AS in the years to come here at Hillcrest. Absolutely amazing. And again, you guys are a large school, but you guys are still able to maintain good school size and classroom size. How, tell me a little bit about your, your teachers. Brag on them a little bit. What, what tools are they bringing to the classrooms? I mean, it's all about relationships. It doesn't matter if you're a big school or a small school. It's how do you make, a, in this case, a big school feel small. And it's developing relationships with the kids, knowing them by name, and making sure that every kid has a place and an opportunity to feel connected. All right. Dr. Jarrett, Garrett, Jarrett, thank you so very much. Hope you guys have a fantastic school year. Thanks so much. I know that it's the first week. I know you guys have a lot going on. So thank you for giving us a little bit of time this morning. Thank you all right. for having me. Thank you. All right, guys, back to you. And a live look over downtown Greenville. You're watching 7 News this morning. More 7 News after this.